Welcome back to the channel guys. In this video I will be talking about the recent exam that I sat for. It's the Microsoft uh, certification to become M365 admin. Uh, the exam code is MS102 and yeah that's what I gave. It gets you three star uh, badge I guess you can call them. So yeah, I think it's the, the main cert to get if you're looking to become an admin in uh, Microsoft 365. I will also be talking about or give you some of my opinions on why to do this, why you should take it or what are the benefits. Uh, also, what, what are the prerequisites of this exam? Uh, what to expect? Uh, so during the exam, what to expect? and what resources I used to prepare the ex for the exam and pass it in the first attempt and uh, yeah just gonna share you that share that with you guys uh, so yeah uh, why to take this exam uh, for me the main motivation was to get the salary increase that I was promised by HR I'm already working as a admin for M365 and I just wanted to, you know, get the get the salary increase. Uh, some of the other benefits that I received uh, while pursuing this exam is it improved my skills overall. It just made everything click uh, even better than before. And by that, I mean like compliance cent center, uh, purview center, M365 admin portal, exchange admin portal, enter ID portal, all those different places just interconnecting. Uh, it improves your re resume. Is that how you spell improve? No. M P R O V. Yeah, sorry about the, the typo there. Uh, yeah, it's de it definitely looks good on your resume for sure. Uh, it displays competence so this goes back to again the salary increase uh, this third finishing this third showed my employers that I am competent and uh, yeah so those are the benefits of taking this exam moving on to the prerequisites uh, there are some prerequisites and I just wanted to show you the website for the exam uh, it's this one here it's called MS102, Microsoft 365 Administrator. That's the exam which you will have to do to get the to get the, the badge, you know, like the three star badge. Uh, let's see. This one here. So this is what you get nowadays. It's badge system. Uh, so yeah, th to get that you do MS102 okay all right so going back to the notepad uh, and yeah prerequisites so there are Microsoft gives you four option so back to this page here uh, I'll put the link in the description so you can just get to it but yeah if we look at the prerequisites of this exam which should be something here what the oh my bad this is the link okay so I'm gonna update that alright so on the exam page uh, you can click on prerequisites and they give you five options to become a M365 certified admin expert you must earn at least one of the following which is these uh, me personally, I went with the the fourth option here, and let me just expand that open. So it is an intermediate level cert. It is it's gonna get you two star badge if you complete this exam. This exam does not have any prerequisites, so you can just straight up jump into getting an associate and then getting the the expert. The the expert here. Uh, so yeah I chose to do SE 300 that's the the code for this 
exam ms certified identity and access admin associate it basically covers everything to do with microsoft enter id um, and uh, yeah i have a video on it how i passed it and my opinion on the exam uh, so going back to the main topic of this video which is getting m365 certified for admin expert um, yes yeah, so th those are the prerequisites again i'm going to leave the link in the description so you can get to the get to the prerequisites page easily cuz sometimes it could be uh it's it's hard to navigate all these websites uh yeah and see this is the prerequisite all right going back uh i did sc300 uh what to expect so in my exam there were no labs it was just different formats of multiple choice questions like move the following you know you, you know what i'm talking about just multiple choice question nothing to no, nothing related to lab there were f case studies i think there were two or four i could be mistaken but there were case studies which is always there and it's also a form of multiple choice uh, what I used to prepare so I use these three things and that's it that's what I use uh, so I'm just going to show you that and it's up to you what y what's good for you what you think is best but for me me working in uh, as an admin already I think these three were more than sufficient for me uh, to crack the exam it could take you more than these or you could take you less depending on your experience so just gonna go through each one by one here uh, first one obviously would be the learn page from Microsoft so I'm just gonna yeah open that here and yeah this is the study guide a guide it tells you everything you know how the sections are divided what's gonna contain how much weight or score and then it further goes uh, into bullet points on what will be covered and uh, yeah just go through it go through it if you can and uh, also I would say to go to the learn page and go through these modules I did try going through them all but I was skipping the ones which I was pretty confident in uh, so yeah let me yeah, let me grab this link too here. So yeah, these the study guide and the learn page where all the modules are related to the exam. And this YouTuber that that I was I was looking for free tutorials. I didn't want it to pay for any third party, so I was just browsing the YouTube and let me open and yeah so oh I can just paste here so yeah this uh, youtuber Peter rising MVP I think he's an MVP for Microsoft uh, he has a playlist on how to on on the exam itself if I go to I thought I got the link for the playlist but maybe not so just going through the playlist again uh, oh he has a lot of stuff but yeah this is what I was I watched uh, MS 102 exam study guide uh, just I'm gonna hit play and you can see there is a lot of videos and they are very long so yeah definitely you will need a cup of coffee or, or tea whatever you guys take uh, to keep going or be focused but yeah you can go through all of these I didn't I just went through the one I needed some refresh refresher on but yeah it's pretty good if you're just starting out and you decided to just do it uh, you don't have a lot of work experience I would recommend going through each video and understanding him because he he explains very very clearly uh, let me play a little bit here of 365 tenant how you introduce a domain yeah, how you see, like just looks into your eyes and he explains things slowly so yeah he's pretty good I would definitely recommend and I'm gonna try getting the link for the playlist I don't know how to get it but I, I guess you guys can just find him find the playlist uh, through his channel 
and yeah definitely subscribe have I subscribed no let me subscribe <laughs> oh I need to sign oh, that's okay I'll subscribe later um, then the last one is exam topics F definitely 100% please do it please go through the questions if you have time um, at this free website uh, you just go to the link you find the Microsoft section and uh, MS 102 and there are 294 questions and yeah so this is free you just have to go through them all 59 pages 294 questions if you guys do all of these and understand uh, then I think you're pretty sh pretty pretty good to go yeah you're 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 ready in my opinion uh, I would however just give a small disclaimer about this website the source is free so obviously there's gonna be some you know cons uh, there is this discussion place where which which where you can find the correct answer or explanation to the correct answer but sometime there is like a conflict between different answers so this one is good this is 100 percent everybody agrees it's the C uh, but if I go down here uh, let me just find another example let's see this one. Oh, everybody's agreeing god damn it and it's gonna throw you this you know just to make sure that you're not using a web scroll uh, crawler is that what it's called so let's see if over here people are conflicted review answer no no okay no let's see what i'm saying is it's like sometimes there would be a you know uh, there would be an, a question and there some people would be uh, saying oh it's b and someone would be like no it's c and then there would be this like divide and then and you see there you go so this one people are conflicted 76 p uh, percent people say it's it's b and and 24 percent say it's d and if you look at the discussion you're gonna find more you know confliction because uh, someone will be saying it's d because of this and so we're like oh no it's uh what was the other it's b because of this so yeah just that's just the uh, you know and you were confused too like what is the correct answer so uh, for those you know just just i guess wing it on the exam if you cannot find it anywhere um but yeah that's the only con about this website and it's free so yeah definitely go through it and uh, with that the 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 i think i've covered everything if you guys have any question please just let me know in the description i'm not gonna edit this video a lot because you know, I just wanted to be genuine with you guys. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.